Okay, in this video, I'm going to quickly just take you through making your uh, high voltage capacitor stack. You want to start out with using 220k ohm resistors, half watt, and around each of the legs of each cap, give it a single twist, make sure it's good and tight, clean connection, and then solder it. The leads of the resistor will what we'll use later to tie these in series. Now, I've been criticized early for years for this method of using a silicone glue and mounting them. But when you take into consideration how many caps there are and the little mechanical clamp takes up a lot of room, requires three screws, and it re would require a large space because you have to leave room to tighten the band around each one of these caps. Um, another thing is, yes, you could take the time <clears throat> and the money to make a printed circuit board because that's what these are. They're printed circuit uh, snap-in caps. About 65 cents a piece at um, all electronics. They have several different types. The ones I'm using are uh, 200 and, no, 330 microfarad at 200 volt. Okay, um, but that's a big expense if you're just going to make one rig. Uh, if you were doing a, making several units, yeah, it, it might be worth paying that much money to have a circuit board. But this is the easy way. If you ever have a bad cap, uh, the general consensus is don't worry about finding out which one because if you've got one bad cap you're going to have more bad ones and you're just asking for trouble trying to replace one or two caps that go bad later on. Just take the whole thing off. It's, if you mount it this way it's like on four screws. It's an insulated, it's plexiglass, the high voltage won't go through it and it makes a nice easy way just to uh, remove the whole thing and change it. Or if you ever have to work on it, it's a whole unit all by itself. Very simply, you just we're going to glue on the base and then glue along each side in between each cap. Now these have negative stripes down one side, so what we're going to do is they're going to be in series, so it's negative stripe to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, all the way through. The resistors also kind of provide you a handle to hold on to them with. Very easy, inexpensive method to stick them on there. Whoops, see I made a mistake on that one. <laughs> I'll just Stick them on that one. I'm get me a cloth to wipe it off. There we go. Okay, now when you get to this next row, you reverse the direction and the stripes all point the other direction. A little in between each one.
again, wasn't paying attention. Got that one backwards. This can get messy, but not a big deal. All cleans up. Now the last one, I won't make that same mistake. <laughs> All right, there. Now, squeeze that one in like so. A quick look to make sure we've got them all lined up pretty good. Stripe plus stripe plus stripe. Stripe plus stripe plus stripe plus. Okay. It's all ready. A little bit of touch up on the excess here. Make sure everybody is glued down. This silicone glue is excellent. Uh, number one, it's a high voltage insulator. Very good high voltage insulator. I mean, obviously it's they make spark plug wires out of the stuff. Okay, there it's finished. High voltage capacitor stack, like so. All ready to go in your amplifier project or power supply. If I'm experimenting with when I like to build a power supply, I'll make just a power supply by itself and uh, make it uh, universal to where I can change voltages and add or remove uh, voltage or bias or screen supply and I don't have to duplicate the power supply every time I uh, build up a rig if I'm just going to be experimenting with something kind of makes it easier simpler but this little package would be ready to go right into your your amp all set to go the voltage would be good enough for 2700 volts um, or you know 2000 whatever we're gonna I'm gonna be using this also for a uh, 4CX250 amp uh, and that'll only be using 2000 volts so uh, let's see the next video I'll uh, work with uh, voltage multiplying doubling and getting uh, like keying voltage 24 volts and bias voltage uh, from a low voltage source like small transformer. 
like if you have uh, a couple small transformers I'm going to work with showing you how to hook them in series uh, to get the voltage you want out of them and that will be in the next video and uh, I'll try to throw in uh, maybe building the diode stack for the high voltage uh, full wave bridge maybe I can work on that in the next video okay thanks for watching see you in the next video one thing before I go maybe I didn't I don't know if I made it clear um, when the glue dries you're just gonna simply take and bend these wires over so that between each capacitor you have a connection and then make a mechanical twist make it clean uh, and solder so a solder these two wires would like this one would lean over and wrap around that post if you want you can bring this one do the same thing anyhow solder that connection there be like that one soldered each one of these and make sure you don't go across the cap and short out a cap it has to go from capacitor to capacitor to make your connections and you're going to keep it in series so if this is your start end you got negative here all you're going to do is you're going to go across to the positive of that cap and then continue on when you get to here we're still in series so you'd connect that and keep on going this would be ground on the negative end that would be your ground wire and this would be your high voltage end so I don't know if I brought that up in the first part of this video but I think I forgot to add that and say that anyhow that's it uh, it's a little thing I forgot to left out all right <laughs> bye guys